Two years ago, campaigning for re-election, Boris Johnson claimed his rival, Ken Livingstone, has spent more time in Havana than Havering. But since winning a second mayoral term, this programme has learned that Mr Johnson has spent more time in Doha than he has in Dagenham. Could it be that Boris Johnson is becoming what his predecessor was so often accused of, being a Zone 1 mayor? Boris Johnson is fond of saying that he thinks being mayor of London is the best job in the world. But what exactly does it entail? Sunday Politics decided to find out how he spends his time and obtained a copy of the Mayor's Diary for the whole calendar year of 2013, detailing nearly 2,000 appointments, all of which we examined. As you might expect, you're most likely to find the Mayor here in City Hall, where nearly two-thirds of his scheduled appointments took place, most often with core members of the Mayor's team. Away from Southwark, it's Westminster, where Boris Johnson is most likely to have an engagement. He's here almost every other working day, frequently meeting civil servants and cabinet colleagues. The Mayor's also to be found in iconic London locations, the Shard, Battersea Power Station, the Olympic site, the Rolling Stones in Hyde Park, and the Champions League final at Wembley. He's also been to the Savoy Hotel three times. Now, it's not so much the fact that the Mayor's been to the Savoy Hotel that might cause City Hall crosses, as the number of times he's been here compared to other places. So, for example, the mayor's been to the Savoy Hotel more than he's been to the London boroughs of Barnet, Bexley, Bromley, Croydon, Enfield, Greenwich, Harringay, Harrow, Hillingdon, Hounslow, Lewisham, Merton, Richmond and Sutton. In fact, there isn't a single outer London borough that the mayor has visited more times than he's been to the Savoy Hotel. The difficulty for the mayor is that he has made a big deal about going to outer London, criticising Ken Livingstone for not doing it enough. Ken, you went to Havana more than he went to Havering. I think he had greatly to with Havana than Havering. He's used that phrase four times at Mayor's Question Time in the last three years. Knocking around, he went to Havana uh, more often than he went to Havering. And here's him saying it again on the BBC. You can even see the line repeated in his 2012 manifesto. But, in fact, we've discovered that in all of 2013, the mayor didn't visit Havering on official business on a single occasion, one of four boroughs where this is the case. But given the mayor seems to be busy doing things in town, he shouldn't really be that concerned. According to the independent residence group of councillors in Havering, we should. So how for the boroughs crying out for people with power to come and give us the help and the support we need? We're desperate for uh, Boris Johnson to come to us and listen to the views of the people. Don't just sit in your office, Boris. Get out, see what's happening around. Let people, give people the opportunity to um, inform you of their feelings, their, their views on the subject, and please give them the support they to their And well, he may not have found the time to visit these parts of official business last year. Um, the mayor did find space in his diary to travel abroad to China, France, Switzerland, and various visits to the Gulf. In fact, in 2013, Boris Johnson spent more time in Doha than he did in Dagenham. Because some of these people and their reputations are not, not uh, um, squeaky clean. By which you mean some of the people involved in Qatar, you see in the newspapers, a lot of stuff around the World Cup. Is that what you're well, the referring mayor's, to? The mayor's incredibly quiet about the World Cup issue. He speaks about everything else and chooses not to say anything about one of the major revelations around uh, the awarding of the, uh, of the World Cup franchise. And here he is, he's silent on it, he's silent, he's deafening. But wherever the right balance lies between travelling to the suburbs and going abroad, Boris Johnson's opponents are almost certain to use the contents of his diary last year to suggest that he's becoming a Zone 1 mayor. That's quite good impersonation. We asked the mayor to appear on the programme. He declined. However, our reporter Andrew Cryan caught up with the mayor's chief of staff, Sir Eddie Lister, earlier in the week. Sir Eddie argues that looking at one year's mayoral activity in isolation is potentially misleading. And that in his first four years in office, the mayor's record in visiting outer London was excellent.